Hello Predator fans on YouTube and uh, today I received a, a huge package from the Netherlands and I received the Elder and the... Elder over here and the... Sideshow Classic Predator exclusive and stay tuned for a review concerning that two figures. Goodbye. So folks, the first impression about those two statues. There are a lot of reviews on the Ella on the tube and uh, rarely any of this statue. But um, I saw some videos of the of other guys on YouTube concerning the Elder, and I wasn't um, pretty convinced. But um, wow, folks, if you take a look at it uh, live. The sculpt is very cool, but <laughs> look at this. I don't think uh, that Elder has damn, uh, I don't know, damn huge feet compared to the other statue. Uh, take a look. Take a look at this, folks. Do you see that? Can you see that? It's like normal size <laughs> and bang and this is pretty strange pretty strange when I unpacked I unpacked it back uh, <laughs> unpacked it is it the right word I don't know I don't give a shit um, this is the first thing that, that, that uh, catches your eye are the damn feet. Other than that it's a very nice sculpted piece and if you're keen on a state you might buy Sideshow from the Predator line I will clearly recommend you the Elder. It's um, because the sculpt is, is the best of all I guess. It is even better than the Scar, it is even better than the the wolf and the amount of detail on that figure uh, statue is superb man I'll give you just a little overview because you will probably uh, already know what's the deal wow I'll hide this one <laughs> no it's not that that bad but it's an eye catch those feet and I, I don't know folks shit they're actually quite bri bright and uh, so it catches your eye and they don't look good other than that it's a nice nice statue look at the skull here and those little trophies And only one thing bothers me is the are the eyes. Take a look at the eyes, folks. The eyes. Can you see that? Hmm. Does this look like the Elder in the film? Nope. <laughs> uh, but it's not a major major uh, problem yeah, it is the painting is pretty pale but um, it gives him a more elderish look and it's definitely a nice pickup and of course it's not that pricey you can get this figure around 250 euro or US dollar and take a look at the armor here and the camera focus so let me see camera won't focus now
certainly the amount of detail on that is superb compared to all the others. It comes with two swords. This is the Klingon style sword, I would say. And second is this one. regular version also the exclusive has an alien head which comes with an alien head but um, it is sold with some very silly prices like 400 or 450 euro and it's crazy I had to, uh, the opportunity to get this for 220 euro and including shipping 250 and that's fine it's more than fine. And second is the that's a classic Predator exclusive. I wasn't sure to get this, but <clears throat> I saw some reviews and they are not overwhelming. But uh, all in all, it's okay. Uh, the best thing about it is, I guess, the, the head sculpt. It's very cool. It looks mean. Is it ferocious? And it's certainly also an eye catcher. From the distance, one major thing is. Um, just wait when the camera focuses. It's slim fast predator. <laughs> it's really slim. Uh, look at the legs. Tiny legs. Uh, the paint job on the bases could be better also. To be honest. That's sloppy. Nothing very special. So, and the color tone is also too yellowish. The body over here is too yellowish. The netting, the pinch of the netting is also, it's not premium form uh, quality. To be honest, it's on small spaces, you even don't have a well painted net. And what about the statue? Yeah, one major concern is that piece, the neck. This head doesn't want to fit on the neck properly you always will have a gap here and no matter how hard or how gentle you push it here you won't be able to manage to get away with that gap that's very sloppy other than that the scalp is Okay, and get it back. Pose is also quite cool. Okay. Again, the, I'll show you the figurine, the statue with the other head also. Okay, get the fuck off. So, yeah, as you can see here, it doesn't fit smooth. So you have to push it, push it, push it, move it a little, but 
from the distance it's it's st uh, I like the statue because of the pose and um, it's some um, for me it's like concept of the predator because it doesn't look like the real uh, figure in the film because it's very slim like I said before but as a predator fan just and you have the possibility to get it get it I like that and the details are not bad at all okay that's it I hope you like the little introduction and stay tuned for some masks I got now from Hong Kong and when I got time I will make some reviews of that okay folks bye bye and I also wish you all the best for Christmas and a happy new year also folks uh, one last thing uh, I just wanted to compare uh, the, um, the classic and the elder side with the um, NECA version over here let me see as you can see here get an idea of the proportions here and this is the thing that I pointed out that the the sideshow version is very slim and I think the neck uh, just made it right so there's nothing wrong to get the NECA version I guess compared to sideshow if you're keen on one, get side uh, NECA. Other than that, also the, 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 the color tone of the NECA version is also more movie accurate. This was my first figurine and still my favorite classic. It's a very amazing piece. Okay, this is what I just wanted to show you, and this is the Hot Toys Elder on the left and the Sideshow Elder on the right. And that's it. And here we have the classic with the Major Elder and the Chiefer. And this is the only thing that is a little bit disappointing because um, you can't display them together with uh, their proportions because Arnold is too huge. <laughs> too huge, Arnie. As you can see here, its proportions doesn't. Anyway, great pieces, nice collectibles. Goodbye.